exactly a few hours after opening, the festival was closed and then cancelled. Often, art's expected to provoke a reaction, but even the organisers may not have been ready for this. On Wednesday evening, a group of men stormed the Arts Council in Karachi, where the festival was being held, intent on destroying one of the images on display. The image in question was a photo montage of Pakistan's political leaders, and the protesters objected to the former Premier Benazir Bhutto's proximity to General Zia ul -Haq. Well, they destroyed nearby banners and ordered everyone to leave the exhibit. The incidents left the festival organizers unable to guarantee safety at the event, forcing them to cancel the rest of the show. And while the government ordered an inquiry into the incident, it's also cautioned the artist community. Well, let's uh, speak now to Amin Jay, photographer and one of the organizers of the festival, and Nilafar Faraka, editor of Nukta magazine. Good evening to you both. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. I mean, first to you, uh, if you could tell us a bit more about what exactly happened last night and why the, the festival was stormed. Uh, well, what happened was the, uh, the, the festival started in the morning. We had um, close to 800 kids who came in in the morning, went through the show. Um, another 1,000 people came um, when the show was open to public at 3 p.m. Um, it was a very big show. We had uh, lots of programming scheduled out for the rest of the week. And... Um, a few uh, people f uh, found this picture extremely offensive and, uh, and they just went crazy at the event. I mean, they started breaking down, they started, uh, I mean, they were screaming that out of the lungs, uh, being really obnoxiously rude to a lot of people out there. There were women there, there were children there, there were uh, elderly people, um, and it was really badly ransacked, basically. Uh, did the festival though have to be cancelled? Could you not have provided extra security and then said, look, the show must go on, go on no matter what? Well, I mean, we, what we did was um, uh, we asked, uh, or, or we were in touch with, with some of the people in the government and what we uh, requested them was that if we can get some sort of an assurance where uh, the government uh, is, is going to allow us to continue uh, with, with basic security, we would. But otherwise, you see, the problem is that we were expecting close to 10,000 people during the festival. 10,000 innocent people, lots of them kids. Um, we didn't want, want to risk anything further. Um, it's, it's, uh, and as being an artist myself, um, we were focusing on the, you know, trying to put up a good show, um, make it educational, make sure the maximum number of people come. I do realize it's a very sensitive time in the country right now. Um, and, and, and we thought this was the time that we would use to bring everybody together. Um, and of course, Shadak means identity. That's the whole purpose. The that irony is that that was the whole purpose of the precisely. event. Precisely, and, and, and it was very unfortunate what happened last night, and, and really, really unfortunate that we had to cancel it. Are, are these exhibits not checked uh, prior to going up? You know, in town. I mean, I, and then we're going to get into this debate, of course, about uh, how far art can go, particularly in a country as sensitive as Pakistan. But were, were these exhibits checked by anyone? And did anyone raise any issues about this particular photo montage? You, you, you see what happened is uh, Shalak Festival was very big this time. We had a lot of contributors, uh, we had open submissions from all over the country, people were sending art pieces, photographs, all sorts of things. Um, and, and we were looking through. Uh, unfortunately, this one particular image did sort of, uh, we, you know, we, we, we really didn't notice it to be very honest. And, and we apologized at the press conference and we apologized live on television last night as well. Uh, unfortunately, if somebody would have, instead of uh, creating a fuss at the Arts Council. If somebody would have come to us, uh, the idea was not to hurt anybody, honestly. Um, this was the Arts but The idea was to bring everybody together and be positive about uh, Pakistan and, and we need to stand together as a country. So if somebody would have come to us and would have told us that, that, that there was this particular image that offended them, we would have taken it off without mm -hmm. having uh, going through what we did, unfortunately. Uh, Nina, so should the festival organizers really be apologizing? Isn't the uh, point of art to challenge boundaries, to have no boundaries, or does art have to be sensitive to the environment in which it's in? Actually, the cultural intolerance, I think, has become you know, extreme because um, under normal conditions, you don't need to apologize. You know, it's the artist's point of view. And I looked at the work and I feel that I don't think disrespect was meant. It's the content of the work. You know, the artist is looking at the whole, it's a critique of the political system that all these leaders are together, almost like a family, and uh, they continue with the black laws despite their, you know, very overt claims that, you know, they have different philosophies. So I think it's, it, but the way it's presented, 
you know, we have to be a little sensitive. Because remember, we live in a place where, you know, women and men do not meet. So here you have something which is sort of in close proximity. So I think it offended people. Then again, there's another issue here, that our artists are not exhibiting in the public space. They're not used to that. Because when you frequently exhibit, then you sort of, you, you know, you understand how the response will be. So I think there are many issues here. Mm. So, so then are you saying that artists do have to be more sensitive to the environment in which they're working? I think artists all over the world have to be. You know how it is. I mean, uh, you cannot talk about the Holocaust in a certain way in the West. Uh, you cannot talk about certain things. But you can yeah. display, uh, you no, know, not offensive work, not offensively. Of, uh, Banksy recently did something with, you know, bodies yeah. of Palestinian children. There. But, but you know, when you talk about the Holocaust, I'm talking about uh, the German one. Then uh, I remember there was a work by a Palestinian or an Arab artist that was somewhere in Europe, and there was a big hue and cry, mm -hmm. because I think there are always areas where people are more sensitive. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to keep that in mind, but we should, uh, you know, not impose any kind of censorship on art. I think that is not the way we should go about it. It's a difficult balance. Yeah. Right, we're going to have to take a very quick break here. After the break, we'll be talking more about uh, the boundaries of art in Pakistan. Stay tuned to me, though.